What is up everyone? <laughs> Welcome back to another video. We are out here at Stanthorpe again for part two of my ride out here on a sweaty Sunday, but it is only 19 degrees, so it's quite chilly. Um, I should really get rid of this long sleeve shirt. It's a heavy cotton. Anyways, last video I did um, <clears throat> Zoolander and the double back trail under the radar. Good fun. Check that video out below. And today is part two and we're gonna do uh, hammerhead to start, which is number four, and number five tank sniper after that, if I still have legs left. So, let's go. Yep. Yeah, number four. Yeah, I know, number four is hammerhead. Yes. That is sick. <laughs> oh, I just got slapped in the face by a butterfly. <laughs> oh, this is proper, proper chunky down here. So this is Black Diamond Trail number four, which is Hammerhead. It's something to the left back there, but woo! So far this is way more gnarly than I remember. <laughs> a bit of a pinch sort of climb here. Number one. Now I don't remember, I don't think you can get the Canadian breakfast from this trail, so we'll stay on this one and do Canadian breakfast next. Oh the slab. It's so cool. It's so grippy too. But Ooh, so grippy. to get these brakes off my bike. <laughs> I keep saying it in a lot of videos but Kodars suck. Sorry if you like them. They suck. <laughs> Coming from a guy who's had good brakes. <laughs> okay. This is the longest trail out here as well. I think it's like two and a bit k's. Looks like, oh sorry, hammerhead. Oh. Gets a bit tiring. I remember first time ever get an arm pump was out here on this trail that was when I first started riding we come out here Woo. in the tight corners oh so nice especially on this bike so clean smooth oh yes <laughs> little high line there, not sure what that is. Now I wouldn't suggest coming out here on your own, but it seems like there's a, always a lot of people out here, or pikers anyway, I've seen so far, no riders. <laughs> oh, how good is this? This is getting tiring though. <laughs> Sharp corner there. Slow down a bit. So yeah, it is just chunky, chunky rock this trail. And there's a uh, trail crossing here for the walking trail, which you could walk up with your bike. I might. Oh, no, I probably won't do that. Oh. So I've still got a bit of hill to go. Those first two trials I did in part one were uh, quite short. They only finished halfway down the hill, so this video might be a bit longer than those. Death jump there with a, a rock landing. <laughs> I had to huck for that because I wasn't ready. And that's where the trails join there for Canadian breakfast, so we'll do that next. Alright, a bit of, bit of slab through here, look at this, if you can see it, <laughs> look at this slab, how cool, how cool is it? <laughs> oh, now it's just slab, this is derby right here, we've got this sketchy wood jump, oh. <laughs> with a uh, very awkward landing, be careful on that. 
<laughs> it's quite a half too. It's pretty long, but if you don't break, you should be all good. I break the little. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so at the bottom now, there's a few jumps. Nothing big. Should be going a lot faster though for that one. That right side's like a little drop, drop thing, nothing too serious there. But now, I think there was an A-line back there on the right, but we'll go this way. Maybe, yeah, I guess it's well, not really an A-line, just a trail cutter. I don't think it's this trail, it might be the other trail with the lower jumps in it. There's a roll up here to the right from memory, yep. Might need to work on my suspension a little bit. But that is the end of uh, Hammerhead. Fun bike trail, I'm very, very rough. It's very nice. Oh, so the climb out of here is quite a long one. Not really too long, but it's it's a bit of, bit of pedaling. So I'll see you back at the top. For a little bit to um, get to Canadian breakfast. This is that wooden jump and it is at least three or two and a half bike lengths into that sketchy landing. Yeah, look at this. It's so grippy. It's like sandpaper this um this rock and this look at it man this is this is derby this is what derby is <laughs> it's so cool so I'll keep pushing up and we'll get down Canadian breakfast and we'll go to the top and do all of tank supper. Just climbed up uh, most of Hammerhead and then pushed up the rock slab and I found this is actually uh, tank slopper, this trail. And to get to Canadian breakfast, you follow tank slopper until this rock corner. So I've ridden this Canadian breakfast before, before it was official. So, pretty gnarly rock shoot to start with. From memory, there's some cooked stuff on this. Oh, maybe not. I can't see if they're gap jumps or not. <laughs> there's, a, there's a gnarly shoot here somewhere. It must be this one. Oh, big connector burn. And that is, <laughs> that's it actually. <laughs> well, that's Canadian breakfast too. So. Nice and small, and yeah, something moving back there. Um, yeah, nice and small, pretty cool. Um, it's a cool way to link both trails together, and there's a proper A-line back there as well, so. Anyways, let's uh, get up to the top. Man, I thought I'd um, give the walking trail a go to climb up, like as in push the bike up, and definitely wouldn't recommend so I um, ended down here at the bottom of Hammerhead it was like around this area I pushed back up here until I got to around here and then I followed the um, granite up to here and then I did Canadian breakfast I turned around went up here and then went up this walking trail and it doesn't look like it's very long but it is a lot longer than that and quite a lot of, quite a, a lot of steepness as well so don't do that just if you finish this trail, just follow it around, take the blue and come back to the road and then do the road. Definitely the better way to go. But anyways, <sighs> finally made it here <laughs> to the top. And I just did four in that last video. Oh, sorry, in that last clip. Actually, I just did eight Canadian breakfast, but before that I did uh, Hammerhead number four. So, I'm gonna do Tank Slapper now, which is more gnarly than Hemhead from memory. From memory, there is a few pretty gnarly bits and a lot of, well, not a lot, but a few larger little double jumps. Oh. <laughs> so this part here is pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> and then up here you can actually gap this, which I'm not going to do today. You can gap that. Yeah, us fellas did last time we were here. Pretty fun actually, nice little gap. 
Your feet get pretty close back there to those rocks on your left and right side. Ooh. All right, that's a lot of the gnarly parts done, but it doesn't really let up too much. Nice and chunky. Feels like diamond, but the last time I rode it, it wasn't this gnarly. There's a pop a drop sort of thing on the left there, and if you go right here, it's kind of a roll. Get this corner here. And here's a jump, but oh, I'm not going to clear that. <laughs> and this is pretty much where I was just before at the start of a Canadian breakfast. So I went straight up to the left there, and this trail takes off. I go just more to the right. That's um, a rollable double, but it's very steep. So if you can, just try and jump it. Pretty large drop there. Back down into the granite. And this is all a little bit different than last time. The trail's definitely been worked on quite a bit. Here on Tank Slopper. And now up here I'm pretty sure we go left and then right into like a drop with a double. It was as chunky as drop here. Oh. Ooh, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> I think I cleared it. <laughs> oh, that's pretty gnarly through there. <laughs> There's some more chunky through it. Oh. Now, <laughs> man, oh, I don't know if that's more gnarly than the double black. It's like they're pretty equal, to be honest. Ooh. Especially through this, so rough. Well, that's pretty much. Oh, that's pretty much tank slap. I like. Man, it is <laughs> very chunky trail. So the trail actually ends just down there. But I'm going to turn around here and just walk my way out. But man, look at this granite. It's so nice, so cool, and different. You don't get this anywhere else in Queensland that I'm aware of. Except Daisy Hill. So, yeah, how good. My complete ride out here done at Standorp, Mount Marley. And oh, these trails are very fun. I would highly recommend getting here. I've um, preached this place a lot of times in the past and it is just this good. Like the climb isn't that big. It's just a little bit steep, but if you can do shuttles here, you're laughing. There is only really four main trails but those four trails would have more unique stuff on them than majority of Brisbane. Probably all of Brisbane, to be honest. The public parks. Obviously, you'll get more out of boomers. But just, yeah, the uniqueness here of all this granite rock is just so different and really fun to ride. I really enjoy it. Everyone I bring here, all our ride guys and mates, they all love the place every time. So definitely would recommend coming out here to Mount Marley and Stanthorpe. It's only an hour and... 35 minutes from Toowoomba, so if you're in Toowoomba and you haven't been here, definitely get your ass out of here. So it is really good. So, anyways, that is part two of this uh, raw video out here. So, if you missed part one, there was some equally as good trails. I reckon sick trails. The double black is very fun in that video. So, have a look below or have a look on the cards at the end of this video. And um, yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next time. Cheers, legends. Peace.